Hey there, space fans. I'm Kurt, and you're watching Fun Space Facts with Kurt. These videos are my attempt at short and sweet and simple explanations about some possibly complex space topics. If you aren't currently living under a rock, you probably saw or heard that NASA recently rolled out their new giant moon rocket to the launch pad for testing prior to its first uncrewed test flight to the moon. And if you've looked at photos of NASA's new giant moon rocket, officially called the Space Launch System, or SLS, you may have wondered why it looks like a cross between a space shuttle and a Saturn V rocket. Well, that's a really good question, and there are actually several reasons for the similarities. For example, the SLS program uses a lot of companies and a lot of facilities that were previously used to design and build the space shuttles. And that's because NASA took several major design features directly from the space shuttle program, like the large orange fuel tank and the white side-mounted solid rocket boosters and the space shuttle main engines. And NASA used all of these as core components of their new SLS rocket. Though the SLS program uses a space capsule at the top of the rocket, just like the Saturn V did, simple teardrop-shaped space capsules naturally orient themselves properly for re-entry. And they use ablative or particle-shedding heat shields, which are a relatively inexpensive and very dependable way to safely return to Earth from deep space destinations like the Moon. That's it for this episode of Fun Space Facts with Kurt. I hope you enjoyed it. Check back later for more episodes. Bye.